Okay, uh, welcome back guys. Um, in this video I'm going to cover how to uh, configure your on-premise exchange environment to uh, receive emails for a new domain. Um, so let's say your domain was in hosted somewhere else and you want to move it into your exchange on-premise environment. So first I'm going to start off with um, I'm going to check the domain I'm going to use. It also happens to be I'm uh, moving my um, my Office 365 subscription expired, so I'm moving in, into my on-premise. So my domain was uh, 0365. Oops, did I make a mistake? Uh, yes. Oh. 365.hazelnest.com. Sorry, I had a zero there instead of an O. Perfect. So um, it shows you my MX record. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, because th this does take a while to propagate, is I'm going to change my DNS, even though that might have some bounce back. But uh, that's the first thing I'm going to do. So right now it's pointing to the um, Office 365 MX record. So I'm going to jump into my um, external DNS. And you can see this is where it's pointing. Uh, so for that, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to point my external uh, MX record uh, to my spam filter. And I'm using uh, MX God Dog for my uh, spam filter. So I'm just going to go ahead and add their MX record here. All right, and I add the uh, secondary also. I'll change that priority to 20. And I'll add the third. I'll change that to 30. Um, the uh, You would need to configure your spam filter to accept the domain, but um, I have all of that set up because that's not related to your exchange environment setup. So once I have this two in there, I'll go ahead and uh, delete that out. Since I have nothing else in here, just do a quick reload. So once that is done, the external, and that is going through all its steps, um, the first thing I like to do is to set up my um, AD environment for the new domain. So I'll jump into my uh, DC. And first thing I'll bring up oops, first thing I'll bring up is my um, domains and trust. And I would go ahead and add Oops, my new domain as a, as a UPN suffix, so just in case I need to use it. Uh, let me just put something, you can do something like um, and then you add, so I can add that to the list. Well, mine was already there, but yeah. So once I'm done with the uh, domain and trust, I can now go into I can now go into my uh, users and computers all 
All right, so now under the users and computers, just for this uh, class, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new, that's for the demo portion of it, I'm going to create a new, uh, a new OU. I'm going to call that OU Office 365. And then I'm going to move this user into it. Then while we're here, I'm going to create a new user. Just so that we'll do a couple of tests. Because she's a demo. Recording. Okay. the card and since I added the UPN uh, an AD I can actually just change it to this UPN here and I'll go ahead and give it a password I'm done with this to user. Now once I'm done setting up the user and I'm going to go ahead and configure. These are all pre-exchange. This is just to make sure exchange works properly. So now that I've configured that, uh, I'm going to jump to any server really because with um, Office, uh, with the Exchange 2013, <coughs> the exchange is managed remotely. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into any computer. This is my external server. Okay, this is currently showing the uh, the mailbox that I have. So I'm not going to create anything new for now. Uh, what I'm going to do <coughs> is I'm going to jump down into Mailflow. Uh, on the Mailflow, the first thing I'm going to do is to add an accepted domain so my Exchange environment can now accept the uh, new domain coming in, uh, accept emails for the new domain. So I'll do an add and do a make sure I get it right. Office three six five. No. Now make it authoritative. Okay, perfect. So now once I've added that domain, um, <coughs> and I accept the domain, the next thing I need to do is to set up my um, address policies, email address policies. So currently there's one email address policy here that is saying that um, to just add this uh, suffix. So I'm going to go ahead and edit that a little bit. So the first edit I'm going to do is say, yes, I want this to be my primary um, domain, but also I want you to give um, I want you to give each address a secondary email for 0365.hazelnest.com. So. I don't want to make it my default and I say save. This is telling me that once I'm done I have to apply that uh, policy. Status and apply it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it. And I'll bring, briefly show you what that does. 
So if I go back to my address, uh, yep, recipients, and I pull up any one of these, let's just pull up this one here, and I go to email address. You see, it already has my um, it has my primary for. Uh, w12e13.hazelnest.com and he has a secondary of 0365.hazelnest.com which is what I wanted. Now, another thing I normally do is uh, go back to the mail flow. Now, I want the, the um, office uh, the 0365.hazelnest to be my primary address for any user that is in that OU0365. So since I've already set that up in um, in AD, all I need to do is add a new rule. Say add and um, this is make sure it's a primary good and I also want the other domain to be there too so I'll say I'll add another one yep I, then I don't check this because I don't want it to make it be my primary then I'll add a rule recipient container there we go so this rule really is saying anything that's under the um, account user 0365 this rule will apply too uh, so I go ahead and save. Say OK. Now it's unapplied. I'm just going to briefly go over this again here. So if I come back here to my users and I refresh, see my uh, domain here is still the w12e13.hazelnest.com. Now if I go back here and, and I, I apply this, Now it's applied. If I go back to my recipient, let me see. Just refresh. See, this is what's my um, my email address is now. Okay. <coughs> now you've been wondering why I actually had to add the the, uh, the UPN suffix in AD and all that, uh, because. Even though the email address has changed, my uh, primary email address is now Office 365. My user logon name, which is the UPN, is still 12, sorry, w12e13.hazelnest.com. So, because I've added that in um, AD, and I'll have the option I can change it from here. So I don't have to see the other one. Save, and that's how you set it up. So, so now um, the the reason why I set up the um, the new mailbox I'll show you is to demonstrate. So, since I have I have the uh, UPN uh, set up in AD, and I have my uh, rule all set up. Let me show you how it looks like when I'm adding a new a new user. So I go existing, I browse, and I pick up the recording. I just say save. See what what happens? Automatically, the recording has the um 
office 365hazelnestcom and the UPN is also office 365hazelnestcom so ladies and gents that's how you configure a domain an additional domain to your existing uh, exchange on-premise environment so now that we've configured everything um, let's go ahead and uh, it's not fully done until we do a test so let's go ahead and first let's go ahead and confirm that our uh, MX record is now pointing to the right thing perfect so what I'm gonna do at this time let me go ahead and sign out of here and close this browser alright the first thing I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and uh, Try an outgoing mail. All right, and let's go ahead and let's uh, do a new. Let's go ahead and send it out to this one, Outlook.com. Okay, and let's go ahead and send that out. So while that is going to that box, let's go ahead and open up a new window and go to a new tab and go to Outlook. Let's go ahead and log into that. did I do? So many passwords, huh? Alright, as you can see that mail came in immediately and it's from my uh, office my 0365.hesonless.com so let's go ahead and reply say we got that And let's go ahead and send that out. And then let's come back into our mailbox here and see when it appears. But there you go. It just appeared. Just popped in. So that's that shows that our configuration worked perfectly. All right. Uh, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, hope you have a great day.